Hey everyone, and welcome back to Top Trending Open Source GitHub Projects this week, part two. In this video, we're diving even deeper into the open source world, exploring groundbreaking innovations that are truly reshaping AI and development. We'll look at an evolving AI memory engine, a community hub for open source AI agents, a minimalist AI powered search engine, and an AI system that crafts research articles. Plus, we'll see a visual React editor with AI and a project to learn LLMs from scratch. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Cogni AI Memory Engine for Smarter Agents. Imagine supercharging your AI agents with a memory system that evolves, reasons, and connects knowledge beyond typical retrieval method. That's Cogni, a powerful open source Python toolkit that builds dynamic semantic memory for AI using intuitive extract Cognify load ECL pipelines. It enables agents to recall past conversations, documents, images, and audio with context-aware precision, all in just five lines of code. What makes Cogni stand out is its combination of knowledge graph structures and vector databases, offering real reasoning instead of just pattern matching. It converts raw data into structured memories, applies RDF-based ontologies, and uses logical reasoners to infer insights, giving agents clearer, more reliable answers. Another strength is its extensible, scalable design. Cogni supports a variety of storage backends, vector stores, Neo4j, Qdrant, and can scale to gigabytes or terabytes seamlessly. Plus, it's fully self-hosted. You can run it securely on your own servers, ideal for sensitive domains like finance or healthcare. Practical integrations are also well supported. There are starter kits, a Langchain plugin, and demos showing how to build a knowledge graph from Hacker News with MemGraph. Early users report a significant accuracy boost. Top-line retrieval results increased relevancy to 90% compared to standard RAG methods. In short, Cogni isn't just storage, it's flexible, reasoned, and scalable AI memory. It equips your agents with understanding, not just data, transforming how LLM tools remember, infer, and interact with complex content. Project number two, Automator Agents, a community hub for open source AI agents. Imagine a one-stop platform where you can explore, build, and deploy a variety of AI agents, all open source, highly customizable, and ready for real world use. That's Automator Agents the engine behind Live Agent Studio. What makes this project truly unique is its community-driven ecosystem. The repository hosts dozens of agents, from GitHub helpers to travel planners, business researchers to video summarizers, all shared openly and curated for immediate use. Unlike many AI projects that focus on single-use bots, Automator Agents prioritizes educational discovery and modular workflows. Developers can browse through agents categorized by their functions, inspect the JSON or Python code and clone examples to kickstart their own. Want to create a tweet generator agent or a YouTube summarizer? Templates are ready, saving you setup time and boilerplate code. For learners, it's a real-time playground that reveals how to build, connect, and scale agents, supported by guides and community discussions. Another defining feature is platform integration and tokenized usage. While open source, agents on Live Agent Studio run live, backed by Automator's infrastructure, with token-based execution, rate limiting, logging, and authentication handled out of the box. This means you can test agents instantly and iteratively without spinning up your own backend. Community engagement is baked into the project. With over 3.3K stars and 1.2K forks, developers worldwide contribute new agents, report issues, and refine integrations, fueling rapid innovation. Plus, Automator supports a hackathon environment where contributors showcase real-world agents like course guides, farming assistants, and more, demonstrating the platform's flexibility. In essence, Automator Agents is not just a collection, it's a living AI agent library. Its blend of open source access, live infrastructure, diverse templates, and community support makes it a standout project for anyone looking to learn, build, or deploy intelligent agents quickly and collaboratively. Project number three, Skira, the minimalist AI-powered search engine. Imagine opening a clean, distraction-free search bar and getting AI-driven answers from the web, Reddit, X, Twitter, academic papers, YouTube, stock charts, code execution, and all with clear citations. That's Skira, an open source search engine designed for simplicity and depth. What makes Skira unique isn't just that it's built with the Vercel AI SDK and taps into models like Grok, Claude, Gemini, and GPT. It's how it combines minimalist design with multi-source 
source intelligence. Unlike typical search engines, Skira integrates APIs like Tavoli for web searches, Exa AI for academic and YouTube content, and Daytona for live Python execution, all under one interface. This means your search results can include summaries of web pages, code graphs, financial charts, weather updates, even movie and crypto data, all in real time. And every answer arrives with proper citation, making it trustworthy and transparent. Skira is also incredibly accessible, deployable via Docker or Node.js, fully open source under Apache 2.0, and easily extendable. Its creator indie dev Zaid Makadam from Mumbai built it as an alternative to perplexity, and today it serves over a million searches a month with 8K plus GitHub stars, all self-funded, with scaling help from Grok and community support. Whether you're a student, researcher, developer, trader, or curious learner, Skira's layered search groups, web, Reddit, academic, YouTube, analysis, code, stocks, crypto, and extreme offer tailored insights without overwhelming you. In short, Skira stands out as a sleek, trustworthy, and customizable AI search tool, giving you powerful answers fast while keeping you in control. Project number four, Storm, AI-powered knowledge curation with collaborative intelligence. Imagine an AI system that rivals your research assistant, one that doesn't just fetch information, but actually crafts a well-structured, citation-backed article on any topic. That's Storm, built by Stanford's OVL Lab. What makes this tool truly unique is its two-phase approach. First, it simulates intelligent questioning, asking perspective-guided and follow-up questions based on retrieval from search engines, then transforms that into a rich outline before writing the full article with proper citation. This breakdown brainstorming mirrors real-world research writing, offering modular control so users can inspect and engage at each step. For advanced users lies CoStorm, a collaborative version where multiple AI experts and a moderator agent converse with you, building a shared knowledge base and dynamic mind map in real time. You can jump in, ask your own questions, steer the dialogue, or observe as AI fills in gaps. It's not just automation, it's intelligent collaboration. Another standout is Storm's modular, customizable pipeline. Want a different LLM or search engine? Swap it in. Storm supports GPT-4, Claude, Gemini, and retrievers like Bing, DuckDuckGo, Tavoli, VectorRM, and more. Developers can tune each component, outline generation, question asking, article writing, polishing via a clear Python API, knowledge storm package. Finally, Storm is open source, research grade, and acclaimed, with over 26K GitHub stars, papers at NATL and EMNLP, and live preview tools that let over 70,000 users explore its capabilities. In short, Storm is not just an LLM wrapper, it's a smart research pipeline. Ask, outline, write, collaborate. It's like having a writing partner who reads, thinks, and evolves with you, all while being fully inspectable and extensible. Project number five, OnLook, the cursor for designers, visual react editor with AI. Imagine a coding tool that blends Figma's visual design with real react code, and that's exactly what OnLook brings to the table. What makes this project stand out is its visual first AI powered editing. You can drag, style, and update elements live in your react app, and OnLook instantly writes those changes back into your code base. No more toggling between mockups and code, every edit becomes real functionality. OnLook's local first architecture Architecture ensures everything stays on your machine, no cloud uploads, while maintaining full control over versioning and environment. It's open source, built with Next.js, Tailwind CSS, Supabase, and Drizzle, and designed to integrate seamlessly with existing React projects. Another unique feature is AI chat assistance. You can prompt OnLook to build layouts, suggest colors, or generate components, all inside the editor. Behind the scenes, it tracks DOM elements with source map, transforms AST, and updates code, ensuring your code remains clean and productive production ready. Plus, OnLook supports real-time collaboration, Figma import, Tailwind styling, component detection, checkpointing, and live previewing. It even auto-deploys apps and supports team comments, all while keeping code quality intact. In short, OnLook uniquely bridges the design-to-code gap in React development. It empowers both designers and developers to build, iterate, and deliver interfaces faster without sacrificing control, quality, or collaboration. A true next-gen dev tool that's shaping how apps are built today. 
Project number six, Happy LLM. Learn LLMs from scratch with hands-on practice. Imagine a project that takes you by the hand and guides you through large language models from the very basics to real-world deployment. That's exactly what Happy LLM offers, an open source step-by-step -step tutorial that blends foundational theory with practical implementation. What makes this project truly unique is its layered teaching approach. It starts with NLP fundamentals, then dives into transformer architectures and moves on to pre-training and supervised fine-tuning, culminating in building an LM off 2 style model from scratch. Unlike passive tutorials, Happy LLM is an interactive learning journey. Readers actively implement their own LLMs using popular frameworks like PyTorch and Hugging Face Transformers. The tutorial includes practical recipes for building tokenizers, constructing model architectures, and carrying out end-to-end -end training from pre-training to fine-tuning with methods like LoRa and QLoRa. This hands-on emphasis empowers learners to understand not just what the these models do, but how they work under the hood. Another factor that sets Happy LLM apart is its openness and accessibility. Released by the Data Whale community, it's free, community-supported, and well-structured in both Chinese and English. It comes with a clean online reader and a downloadable PDF complete with a watermark to prevent unauthorized resales. And it doesn't just stop at theory, it explores modern applications like retrieval augmented generation and AI agents, ensuring learners are ready for cutting-edge LLM use cases. The project's strength lies in how it integrates theory, code, and application. Instead of reading about models as abstractions, learners build them from scratch. It demystifies complex topics like attention mechanisms and encourages direct experimentation. With nearly 8,000 stars and hundreds of forks, Happy LLM is a go-to resource for anyone serious about mastering LLMs through practice and community support. Project number seven, Motia, a unified backend framework for APIs, events, and AI agents. Imagine building your backend like assembling Lego blocks, where API endpoints, background jobs, event-driven workflows, and even AI agents all seamlessly fit together. That's exactly the magic Motia delivers. What makes this project truly unique is its step primitive, a single language agnostic building block you use to define logic, whether it's handling an HTTP request, processing a scheduled job, or running an AI agent. Instead of managing separate systems like Express for APIs, Bull for queues, and a separate AI orchestrator, Motia wraps everything into unified, event-driven workflows. You write steps in TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, or Ruby, and let Motia handle everything else. State management, observability, retries, and one-click deployments. This means no boilerplate, no fractured stacks, just lean, maintainable code. Another standout feature is its built-in observability and developer tooling. The Motia Workbench, a browser-based UI, visualizes your workflows in real time, showing step-by-step -step traces, logs, and live data as flows execute. You can visually debug where flows break and inspect payloads instantly. This level of transparency and ease of use is rare in back-end frameworks. Motia doesn't stop there. It's AI-ready and production-ready. You can integrate any Python AI library or NPM module directly inside your steps, enabling intelligent agents for tasks like research, finance analysis, or Gmail automation. It auto-scales, handles state and events reliably, and supports edge workflows from cron jobs to HTTP APIs, all in one cohesive project. In short, Motia is a code-first, multi-language, event-driven backend platform that dramatically simplifies complex architectures. It gives developers the power to build scalable, observable, and intelligent backends faster without plumbing glue, context switching headaches, or maintenance nightmares. Project number eight, Ladybird Browser, a truly independent browser and engine built from scratch. Imagine a web browser that isn't built on Chromium, Firefox, or WebKit, but is coded fully from the ground up. That's what Ladybird Browser represents. This project stands out because it's truly independent, no borrowed code, no hidden dependencies. Instead, it uses its own engine libraries, LibWeb for HTML slash CSS, LibJS for JavaScript, LibGFX for graphics, and more, ensuring it adheres closely to web standards. So what makes Ladybird unique? First, it's singular focus. It's only a browser, nothing else. No default search deals, no monetization trick. That purity helps keep the code lean, secure, and user first. Second, it's solid multi-process architecture, borrowing from modern browsers, but crafted entirely in-house. Each tab has its own sandbox process, image decoding and network handled separately for better stability and safety. Another defining feature is its non-profit and community
community-driven funding, supported by GitHub co-founder Chris Wanstrath's million-dollar investment and sponsorships. Ladybird operates without ad-driven revenue, giving it independence from big tech influence. This empowers the devs to focus purely on speed, privacy, and standards compliance, with no pressure to integrate DRM or ad trackers. Ladybird's roots go back to Serenity OS, but it has since branched off into a cross-platform standalone project, compatible with Linux, Mac OS, and soon Windows via WSL, all while keeping the browser light and maintainable. In short, Ladybird isn't just another browser, it's an open source, brand new engine built by a dedicated community, integrating strict web standards, prioritizing user privacy, and rejecting corporate compromise. It's a bold reset for what browsers could be, and this is just the beginning. Project number nine, Genesis, a generative physics engine for robotics and embodied AI. Imagine stepping into a virtual world where robots, soft bodies, fluids, and even facial expressions come alive, all driven by real physics and powered by advanced AI. That's Genesis, a groundbreaking open source physics simulation platform optimized for robotics, embodied AI, and physical AI applications. What sets Genesis apart is its universal GPU accelerated physics engine, rebuilt from the ground up, capable of simulating a diverse diverse range of materials, rigid bodies, deformable shells, liquids, gases with unmatched speed and fidelity. Genesis delivers jaw-dropping performance up to 43 million frames per second when simulating a robotic arm on a single high-end GPU, making it over 400,000 die care faster than real time. It integrates multiple physics solvers, rigid, PBD, MPM, Fluid, FEMA, into a single Python native framework that's both lightweight and intuitive. That means developers can prototype sophisticated robotic behaviors and simulations with just Python, no need for C++ toolchains or complex bindings. But Genesis doesn't stop at raw physics. It includes a generative data engine that interprets natural language, prompting the platform to auto-generate 4D dynamic worlds, complete with camera trajectories, robot animations, speech and emotion overlays, and more. This makes Genesis a powerful tool not just for simulation, but for automated data generation, ideal for training AI agents, creating photorealistic robotics datasets, or even generating fine-tuned physical behaviors for real robots. It also offers differentiable simulation modules, letting ML practitioners backpropagate through simulated physics, great for end-to-end -end training pipelines, and with streamlined installation via PyPI and support across Linux, macOS, Windows, and multiple GPU backends, Genesis is production-ready for researchers and developers alike. Like. In summary, Genesis is not just a simulator, it's a physics-first AI platform that redefines speed, realism, and generation-driven workflows. Whether you're building next-gen robots or photorealistic simulations, it places unparalleled power and flexibility directly in your hands. Project number 10, Label Studio, versatile ML-powered data annotation tool. Imagine a tool that lets you annotate images, audio, text, video, and time series data all in one place with smart AI assistant. That's what Label Studio delivers. It stands out by combining a highly customizable unified UI with multiple data types support and intelligent labeling automation. What makes Label Studio truly unique is its flexibility and extensibility. Out of the box, it supports diverse tasks, drawing bounding boxes, segmenting objects, labeling audio spectrograms, highlighting text spans, even annotating video frame by frame. You can import datasets via local files, cloud storage, or even pre-annotated model predictions and export in formats like JSON, COCO, and Pascal Vo C. Its templating system lets you create custom labels labeling interfaces tailored to your dataset and workflow needs. Another game changer is its ML-assisted labeling capability. By connecting to a machine learning backend, open AI, local models, or transformers, it can pre-label data, bootstrap annotations, and enable active learning, drastically speeding up manual work while keeping human review in the loop. For enterprise users, role-based workflows, annotator agreement metrics, and compliance-ready infrastructure offer robust team collaboration and high data quality. Label Studio also shines in integration and scalability. With a Python SDK, REST API, webhooks, cloud storage connectors, and embeddable React frontend, it embeds seamlessly into any ML pipeline, self-hosted or cloud. Its rich configuration has inspired community-driven templates like awesome Label Studio configs, turning complex workflows into shared, reusable configs. In short, Label Studio isn't just an annotation tool. It's a powerful, flexible data labeling platform designed for anything from solo researchers to enterprise teams. Its AI-powered features, multimodal support, and deep customization options make it a top pick for anyone serious about building high-quality AI and ML datasets. And that concludes part two of 
of our journey through these incredible open source projects. We've explored game changers like Cogne for AI memory, Automator Agents for building AI agents, Skyra for AI-powered search, and Onlook for visual React development. If you found this video insightful, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into trending tech, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Let us know in the comments which project from part two excited you the most. We'll be back soon with part three, exploring even more projects like Mochia, Ladybird Browser, Genesis, and Label Studio. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.